Hi guys, I've um, updated the Hyperland dev, so we have our own you update the systems and you have the Hyperland version of Arconlex. You have a file, well, a pseudo pacman minus s, I start typing it. Hyperland dev is what we use, right? Hyperland is from AOR and dev is our way of making everything start to make everything work. Topic of this video, I was looking at this design and I saw up here the border. And I just had a what if, what if, how will it look if I would delete the border? If there would no, not be a border, how would that look? Simple as that. Now, these elements, these are coming from the way bar. So let's have a look. Well, if you have set everything up, you have sublime text and in here we have hyper folder. So put everything that's in the hyper folder, not hyperland, that's something else. So the folder, the dot config hyper, that's where everything is. And then the look, the look, right? The style CSS, what could make that particular thing have a border? So we have here the border, two pixels solid and a color, which we don't really know uh, which color it is again. I think it's called color hint. I was really thinking very hard. If we want to see install package control, if we want to see and then what was it then again? Browse packages. Nope. Then it's install settings somewhere, font package control, yeah. And then install package, yes, okay. And I think it's called color hint. Color hint. Voila. So this is a dark black. This color is also black. Lots of blacks, but this is purple. So you know that, okay, that's working. So the border, we have the workspaces here. So they're going for black. What if I said that it's not necessary to put anything there? Can we, here it is. That's the code for CSS. So if I say border, like so, and the workspace is color here as well. Is that nice? That's the only question. Save. Now the bar up here won't get reloaded. Okay. How can we do that with hyper way bar? This is the folder where we're looking at, right? But the folder itself gets launched with status bar, way bar and so on. So if I open a folder here and I'm ready to launch it like this, and I say status bar, then I'm ready to launch it. But first I need to kill it. Okay, so <laughs> let's first kill it. P kill sway bar. Uh, not sway of course, but way bar. Okay, it's killed. And then we're gonna launch the status bar. And then it's back. Did I, do I, is it gone, right? Is it gone? Well, to be really sure, I was just thinking about that earlier on. You can always, and that's how I do things, right? Eat to each his workflow. But FF0000 is in all aspects red. So that's how I see if things are working or not. But now I made some, some error here. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I see. So this is the color. This is the border. All right. 
my mistake so border if we make this ff0000 save build the damn thing launch the damn thing okay now we know that all of these guys are red so i still need to figure out these two guys okay so when i say to the system control z control z control z this one control c arrow up then all these guys are without a black line which maybe i like except this guy okay where is that guy He has a border radius, they all have a border radius and a margin of bedding and color is the color of this, so the black, right? This is black. But where is the border then defined? So control find, are there other borders somewhere? Find, find, workspaces, button, border, two pixel solids, border radius. But border radius is fine by me, but this, Let's see if we can do this and then like so. Save, uh, cancel, <laughs> control S, control C, arrow up. And this is how it should look now without the black borders. And here's the end of the video, right? I'll evaluate this thing and say, okay, do I like it or don't? Will I like it or not, right? And the thing you do if after working like this, you make a copy. So hyper and hyper mine. So this one is what I have now. So control C, control V. And I'll call it not black or something, right? With no border or something like that, maybe better. No black border. And that's the only difference between the one I had. So this was the one previously, so always make backups. And with Melt you compare, and the only thing I've made is say, don't use that line for CSS, and don't use that line for CSS. And all the rest, of course. There can be still lots of what ifs in the CSS, but this is something we'll try out and see if we like it and if we keep it. All right, cheers.